Otitis externa is relatively common. It's estimated that around 1 in 10 people will be affected by it at some point in their lives. The condition is slightly more common in women than men and is most often diagnosed in adults 45 to 75 years of age. In this video, we will talk about this disease, otitis externa, by answering these questions. What is otitis externa? What causes otitis externa? Symptoms of otitis externa. How's it treated? Is it necessary to take antibiotics for otitis externa treatment? What is otitis externa? Otitis externa, OE, is an inflammation that can be either infectious or non-infectious of the external auditory canal. Otitis externa is often referred to as swimmer's ear because repeated exposure to water can make the ear canal more vulnerable to inflammation. Otitis externa may be acute, lasting less than six weeks, or chronic, lasting more than three months. Acute cases are typically due to bacterial infection, and chronic cases are often due to allergies and autoimmune disorders. What causes otitis externa? Causes of otitis externa can include a bacterial infection, usually by bacteria, called Pseudomonas aeruginosa or Staphylococcus aureus. Seborrheic dermatitis, a common skin condition where the naturally greasy areas of your skin become irritated and inflamed, which can sometimes affect the ears. A middle ear infection, otitis media, discharge produced by an infection deeper in the ear, can sometimes lead to otitis externa. A fungal infection, such as from the Aspergillus variety and the Candida albicans variety, which also causes thrush. Fungal infections are more common if you use antibacterial or steroid ear drops for a long time. Irritation or an allergic reaction, otitis externa, can occur because of a reaction to something that comes into contact with your ears, such as ear medication, ear plugs, shampoo or sweat. Symptoms of otitis externa. Symptoms can include ear pain, itching and irritation in and around your ear canal, redness and swelling of your outer ear and ear canal, a feeling of pressure and fullness inside your ear, scaly skin in and around your ear canal, which may peel off, discharge from your ear, which can be either thin and watery or thick and pus like, tenderness when you move your ear or jaw. Swollen and sore glands in your throat. Some hearing loss. Usually only one ear is affected. Symptoms of chronic otitis externa can include a constant itch in and around your ear canal. Discomfort and pain in your ear that becomes worse when you move it. This is usually much milder than in short-term otitis externa. A thin, watery discharge from your ear. A lack of earwax. A buildup of thick, dry skin in your ear canal, known as stenosis, which can narrow your ear canal and affect your hearing. How's it treated? Most patients diagnosed with otitis externa will receive outpatient management. The mainstay of uncomplicated otitis externa treatment usually involves topical antibiotic drops and pain control. Antibiotic otic drops are safe and well-tolerated, include Polymyxin B, neomycin, and hydrocortisone 3 to 4 drops to the affected ear 4 times a day. Ofloxacin 5 drops to the affected ear twice daily. Ciprofloxacin with hydrocortisone 3 drops to the affected ear twice daily. Otitis externa can be very sore, particularly if you touch the outside part of the earlobe close to the ear canal. Paracetamol or ibuprofen will usually ease any pain. Stronger painkillers are occasionally needed. If you hold a hot cloth, flannel, against the ear, it may also ease pain. Thank you for listening to all the information we want to introduce to you in this video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel.